Okay friends, let's get started on these spark plugs. So now let's just grab this cover, lifts right up, and we have a clear view of where we're going to work. Okay, so generally speaking, you're going to do these and you're going to do them all at the same time. For visual purposes, this one's the easiest to see with the camera, so that's what I'm going to start with. Obviously, I'm going to do them all, but this is the one I'm going to show you. Grab this, give it a little squeeze, and draw it up and off the coil. Take a peek. This looks great. Remove your mounting bolts. Grab that coil, give it a little wiggle, and draw it up and away from the engine. There it is, friends. Once you pull off that coil, it's important to make sure you blow out these areas. Last thing you want is any crud getting inside your engine. Under each coil, you're going to see two spark plug holes. That means there's two spark plugs under each coil. Remove them both. There it is, friends. So when it comes time to checking and or replacing your spark plugs, you want to make sure you have the right gap. It's important to look and see if you can find something that says spark plugs with the number and then the gap. That's going to tell you where it should be at. Generally speaking, you can find that inside your engine compartment or inside your owner's manual. Whenever I do spark plugs on a vehicle, I always like to check the original gap just to see where the old plugs are at. I'm going to go like this with my little gapper and take a peek. This vehicle is supposed to be at 0.045. As you can tell, it's well over that. The spark plug needs to be replaced. When you're installing a new spark plug, it's also extremely important to check that gap. Just in case, in shipping, this got bonked and gets knocked down completely, or if it's bent up too far. Just grab your gapper, put it in there, make sure you're at the correct specs. If you're not, you can adjust it. This looks great. Let's get ready for an install. Grab your spark plug, put it right on your spark plug socket, slide it in there. Let's bottom this out. So we're just going to take this, bottom it out. Now let's grab our torque wrench and torque it to manufacturer's specifications. The maximum for this is 13 foot-pounds, so we don't want to go any higher than that. I'm going to set my torque wrench to 12. Nice. Let's go ahead and do the other one. Time to install the coil. As you can tell, they come pre-greased. That's great. Slide it right in here. Push it down until it bottoms out. Go ahead and start those bolts in. Grab that electrical wire, click it on there, and give it a tug. Let's do the same to all the rest. Now that those are all done, let's get this cover back on here. Now that we have those in there, let's go ahead and start up the vehicle. I want to check for a check engine light, and I also want to make sure that engine isn't shaking around like crazy. Well, the dash looks great. How about that engine? Yeah, that looks pretty great too. 